Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to be doing this makeup look right here. This makeup look is part of my 31 days of beauty challenge. If you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, I am challenging myself to do a makeup look for each day in July. So that's 31 days of makeup, 31 days of beauty every single day of the month of July, me wearing makeup. It seems hard, but this is day two and I'm kind of getting into the stride. Anyway, before we begin, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love for you to join the DLI Daily family here on YouTube. Also, please do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you will always get notifications of whenever I upload a new a video. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get started with today's video. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with my brows. You guys already know the drill on how I do my brows. I use the Davis pencils. These pencils are literally 100 naira in the market. 150 if you go to supermarkets and 200 naira if you go somewhere like really, really bougie. I use the brown pencil to fill in my brows first. What I like to do is I like to draw a shape. Then with the black Davis pencil, I'm just gonna start from kind of the middle and add a little bit of darkness and shading. So it has that nice ombre effect. Then I'm going to take an angled brush, some concealer. The concealer I've been using recently to clean up my brows is the Zaron Concealer. I'm going to use a flat foundation brush to blend this down. This will also serve as my primer. All that blending, gotta still comb them out. I feel like I look like a crazy person, I swear. I'm gonna take the remaining concealer and pat that on my lids. First, I'm going to take the Queen Amina 2 palette from House of Tara and I'm going to take my deluxe crease brush and go into the shade Kola Guru right here. Now, I'm going to take the Quad Eyeshadow Set from House of Tara. This is the palette Isa and I'm going to take this pink shade and use it to blend out the Kola Guru that we applied. It looks like I just took Kola Guru and extended it. What I wanted was like a pink ombre, but I don't mind. I'm going to continue. Next, for my lid, I'm going to go back into the Queen Amina 2 palette and I am going to take 34. This bright, bright ass pink right here. After applying 34, I'm just going to take my crease brush and blend where they both meet. So we have a nice, healthy marriage. Basically going back and forth. I'm applying, blending, applying, blending. When I'm not doing like a cut crease, I always like taking my shimmery shadows up here because I like the blend. I like how it looks when it's blended up there. This is not how I expected this look to come out. But I like it, I really do. There is no winged liner, none of that today. Just straight to mascara. First I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Then I'm going to take the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Erase, Pore Eraser Primer. A little bit of this primer goes a really long way. Then I'm going to set the primer down with a little bit of my loose finishing powder and it just spilled everywhere. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing powder. I'm going to set it down with some setting spray before I move on to the next step. For foundation, today we're going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I am in the shade NW48. I do hate how this foundation smells, but I love how it looks on my face. Also one of those foundations that matches me actually perfectly. Some are a little too yellow, some are neutral, but Studio Fix NW48, my shade. Concealer, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm gonna let this sit on my face and dry for like about two to three minutes. I'm going to use my little blending sponge to blend it out. If you're looking to snatch your nose, when you do your under eye concealer, bring it up here. It gives the illusion of a smaller nose. I'm going to take the brush that I used for my foundation I use it to kind of blend out the edges. To set my eyes, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. Then, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. To highlight my face, I'm going to be using the highlighter from the Elf Contour Palette. This is the Deep palette, yes, and take my Vita Joseph Classic Highlight Brush and go to town. 
Then we are going to wear some blush. I decided that some pink blush would go really well with this pink look. This is the Zaran Hyper Blush Range, and this is the shade Rose Charm. This blush is so pigmented, so, so pigmented. So I gotta be careful. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to use my powder brush to blend it into the skin. Now to take away this powdery look, I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus. Alright, while that is drying, I want to finish up the rest of my eyes. I'm going to go back into the House of Tara Quad Eyeshadow Set in Isa and go into this purple shade right here. Then I'm going to take this brush and blend out just the edge right there where it meets the pink. So it's kind of like a reverse wing. It does pull up and it does give it like this really cool smoky effect. And then the last piece of this look is probably my favorite piece of the look. I'm going to go into this shade right here, this bright yellow glitter shade. It's called Inkatao. And pop it right there. I'm going back in with that first pink shade I used because I don't want Inkatao to kind of take over that whole area. Ooh, look at that. Look at that inner corner highlight. Just look at it. I love it. Now we're gonna finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take some of my mascara, the mascaras I used before, and use them on my bottom lashes. We are done with the eyes officially. I'm very happy with the eyes. It looks as dramatic and as sexy as I wanted it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Zaran lipstick pen in the shade Muse and use it to line my lips. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the YSL Rouge Pour Control Lipstick in the shade, I don't know because it has scratched off at the bottom. The lips right now are way too muted for the dramaticness we got going up there. So I'm going to be taking the MAC um, Oh Sweetie Liquid Lipstick Slash Lip Gloss. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's a really bright pink um, lip product. I'm going to use this and apply it to the bottom, to the center of my lips to add some more dimension. All right, that is it for today's makeup look and it for today's video video. This look didn't come out the way I expected it to come out, but I love it now. Just looking at myself in the viewfinder, I'm just like, who is that girl? I really, really like this look. If you like it as well, or if you hate it, leave me a comment below and tell me why you either love it or you hate it. Also, please do not forget to follow me on Instagram so you can follow my 31 Days of Beauty. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel. And also, do not forget to be awesome. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!